Bad movie. Bad person. Bad, bad teacher. teacher. And, and scene. Hey. Hello. Um, we stayed home this week and Very we good watched choice. Bad Teacher. I'm so glad we didn't see this yeah. in the theater. That, that was, was a good choice. That was a really good choice. Yeah. Not Ooh. worth money. Terrible, terrible movie. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah. Yeah, let's, let's recap this. Okay. All right. I'm okay. going to be some uh, Cameron Diaz. Okay, I'll be everybody else that's good in this movie. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hey. I am a horrible person. I'm not. And I just like to walk on people oh. and screw people over and get what I want. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm less attractive than you and better than you, so this is a romantic comedy and I'm gonna win. Uh, this isn't a romantic comedy. This is barely even a comedy. I'm not sure this qualifies as a movie at this point, so I'm pretty much gonna win. Fuck, fuck, shit, whore. Fuck. I mean, boo. Oh. Go cry. And see. Yeah, that was it ish. That was good. Yeah. More swearing, actually. Way more movie. swearing. Oh my god, there's so much. Sorry for. I think we just. Uh, I think we just. That was not PG. No. So. I think we're causing conflict. <laughs> I hope you're watching this after 9 p.m. <laughs> uh. Did you have a favorite moment? Mmm. Did I? I think so. I did. Um, my favorite was um, Cam from Modern Family oh, played um, Cameron Diaz's roommate in this. And he's so funny. He's always funny, but he played, you know, like kind of a, well, a butch guy roommate kind of character. And man, he nailed it. He's so funny always yeah. in everything. He had some great, great lines and so, great like, moments. Every time he was on, that was those were my only laughs of the entire movie. Yeah, and very funny. Very, very funny. Mm -hmm. How about you? My favorite was Cameron Diaz's arms. Her arms are like unbelievable. Mm -hmm. and they're like very lean and long and like they're just, there's something to aspire to. <laughs> they're so good and that's probably the best part. Yeah. Yeah. She's like an action hero. They were, they were awesome. I think they're better than Tom Cruise's arms. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just true facts. What about your least favorite? Oh, so much. Besides the whole Yes. Film. Uh, the plot was really one of my least favorite things. This whole idea of this character who's this horrible person, you're not rooting for them at all in this entire movie. So when they keep succeeding, you're just annoyed that they keep getting ahead. And I didn't want her to win in the end, which is a problem if that's your hero. And it's a theme too these days, is like you root for the villain and you just didn't want this main character villain to win. Like she was just terrible. Yeah. And like she served no point and she was not, charming or fun like you just hated her she just wasn't likable and she didn't all. redeem herself enough in, in the end to win like she didn't do enough to like become a good person yeah yeah it was and there was stuff that she did that she didn't get caught and the only reason okay. i was like thank god she didn't get caught because it would have made the movie longer mm -hmm. like that's the only reason i'm glad she didn't get caught brought the stuff oh mm -hmm. so stupid how about you the principal, who's like the boss character, obviously he's the principal, it has like this dolphin fetish. He like loves, I don't like it when people love dolphins. I think people need to outgrow that phase. And he loved dolphins so much. He had figurines. Glass ones. And they were everywhere. It was creepily charming. Yeah. I hated it. It made me so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Did you have a favorite cameo? Comedy. Uh, my favorite cameo will go to um, Jason Siegel in this movie. There's a moment where they're in the gym and he becomes for like this moment his Freaks and Geeks character just for like you just see this like little shimmer and it's, it's a glimpse. Just very, yeah, that was probably my favorite. He was climbing moment. a rope. He was showing her how yeah. to climb a rope. And, but yeah. it was just like it, uh, the whole like it's just this one little moment but he just like all of a sudden like you know became his character and it was exciting. Yeah, and it was, it was all badass. <laughs> Not really. Um, go ahead, your cameo. I think my favorite cameo goes to Justin Timberlake always having to sing in every movie that he's in. He just, he finds a way and it's shameless. In every single film, it is so shameless. And he sings more than once in every mm -hmm. movie. This movie, I think three times. And when he tries to sing bad, he's it's yeah, poorly. adorable. He, uh, Stupid. I'm pretty sure he makes every movie into a musical. Yeah. Oh, it's in his writer for sure. He sometimes just like sings lines that I'm like, yeah. I don't think that was necessary. <laughs> and he's probably like, we're going to keep that. It's just, that was really good. Or I'm pulling my name from this project. Yeah. Okay. That's what happens. That's what I imagine. I'm yeah. JT. You're a treat. Ryan. Ryan. Oh, I, I thought it was, um, I, you know, I thought it was okay. 
Really? It's, yeah. Hmm. I like that you brought us apples. I thought that was nice. That was very nice. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yes. We've learned so much from you, so I always feel like we should be bringing you the apples because you're like our teacher, but it was a great role reversal. Yeah. Oh, the apples were all right. Yeah. Are they poison? Mm. No. They just, you know, they tasted okay. You had a bite of our apples? <laughs> yeah, well, I had, that, I had one the of the bushels. <laughs> the band aid? Yeah. Is that why there was a that huge band aid on it? I was like, don't look under here. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, when do you no. think people should see this movie? Um, I think this is a great movie to watch if you're trying to justify the cost of private schools yeah. to send your kids to because, wow, why send anyone to public schools with horrible teachers like this? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think it's a great time to watch it. <laughs> and I also think it's a great time to watch it if you're out and looking to get inspired to tone up your arms because it's just inspiring. Yeah. It's just, her arms, again, are just unbelievable. I love women's <laughs> arms <laughs> in a non-creepy very straight way. <laughs> and even if you're a little gay over arms, I think that's okay. I think so too, you guys. Arm gayness is really like some face new black. <laughs> it just got weird. It just All right. started. And, All right. and scene. scene.